What's going on, YouTube? JT Jaborn here, and welcome back to another edition of my DC Comic Reviews. In this video, we're talking about Batman Detective Comics, issue number 1087, the never-ending storyline with the Orkin family. We're at Gotham Nocturne, Act 3, Crescendo Part 4. Oh my goodness, can we just get to the end already is kind of how I'm feeling about this. But we only have two issues left, and it feels like based on this book it's like it feels like oh we're getting close but then it's like oh we have so much stuff we still have to cover it seems like but at this point i'm just like you know let's 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 wrap this thing up um i think maybe if you read it as one giant like <laughs> at once maybe it'll work better but when you're like been reading detective comics for the past few years like my goodness this thing is still going on i gotta just jumped off the book like a year or two ago and then jump back in it's still the same storyline like that's just how like long this current arc is going and you really feel the length of it all but i will say the pause was right out of the get gate um the artwork looks fantastic in here and the characters are all drawn beautifully i mean just look at nightwing asriel cassandra kane um catwoman looks great in this style a lot of action in this issue so that's all kind of cool uh you also have renee montoya in there like i said all the characters look great in this design mr freeze joins uh the mix with his whole little freeze weapons because that weakens the asmer and you know you have two face fighting a werewolf which is pretty cool and you have the orkham family who never have been like the most interesting doing their little like reality bending machine or whatnot and they're basically just them just trying to get to the point of getting ready to stop them uh duella dent kind of comes in and cuts the one guy's head off and now we're just kind of left like wondering what's going to happen next then in the backup we have this whole ad, written by dan waters this one has asriel doing his thing and nightwing doesn't trust him because of all the stuff he's done in his past great looking artwork in this thing uh it's kind of a strange story they do reference arkham city order of the world but it is dan waters so of course you get that sort of reference and it's him cassandra kane and he tells him he gets three strikes and he is out but nightwing ends up hitting him for the second time it's kind of funny uh francesco franceville is on the art and colors and it's a great looking backup but um it doesn't really like move the story forward plot wise i feel like it's just a bit of a humorous moment in the midst of this big event is it the best thing i read no is it the worst thing no you know sometimes a little bit humor is good but i think i'm at the point now where i just want to get to the end of this never-ending story arc and uh yeah there are some good qualities to it like i said the artwork is beautifully drawn comic book like the art and colors and everything pops off the page the action sequences within the context of the comic panels i think are all handled quite well the backup is humorous but i think too like you because the storyline has gone on for so long you're just i think everyone's just kind of exhausted at this point i'm ready to get to the end of this thing i want like another i think there's two more issues left we have next month and then september's and then new creative team which is going to be tom taylor who just got off finishing up nightwing which just dragged for a while you know i would have liked to have seen tom taylor take over green arrow as opposed to detective comics i feel like he after doing nightwing for like a few years i figured he would have been kind of tired of you know writing some of the bad family stuff Stuff and want to kind of move on to a different character i know he's mentioned wanting to work on green arrow i think that would have been a cool pick for him but uh you know given how detective comics has you know gone on with this particular storyline for so long i'm fine with kind of doing something drastically different and i hope maybe he learns some lessons from that nightwing run when he does take over this book and makes detective comics better than what he did with nightwing i don't want it to just kind of be the same sort of thing i wanted to have a very different feel to it i think it'll be good to also like with all the different bad family characters you kind of like bring different ones in and kind of tell your own you know stories with them since you know you have the current batman run uh and then you also have batman and robin telling these specific stories as well so uh i am kind of looking forward to seeing what he does i'm a little out like cautious given how the nightwing book has turned out after however many years so but we'll see. I'm I'm just ready for something very different from this. So, like, there's some good moments in here, but I, again, it's gone on for way, 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 way too long. This particular story, and I get they're trying to tell some big, grand, epic. I just think it's gone on for way too long. Like, it's it's dragged its feet. You could have cut out like ten issues in this thing and not really miss much. I, I at least in my opinion, shorten this thing down a little bit, condense it more. I think it would have been a lot stronger. I'm um, I'm at the point now where I'm just like, oh, who's that character again? Because it's just like I've lost interest. So I mean, this thing is dragged on for however many years at this point. And the Organ family, I just never found them to be all that interesting of characters. I mean, the stuff with Two Face and you know fighting a werewolf and that that's all pretty cool stuff. And having Mister freeze integrating here but the orcam family mm, never been all that great in my humble opinion so but is this a bad issue on its own no i wouldn't say so i just think like i said this has gone on way too long 
and I'm just kind of ready for it to be done. So in terms of this particular issue, get a lot of action, some great looking artwork, so there definitely has some merits. I just think the overall storyline has just been just get to the point already. So I think even like reading this in like one huge like lump sum, you'll probably get to the point like, God, we're still going. It's like a it's like a fight scene in Dragon Ball Z where it just goes on for like 80 episodes. And I love Dragon Ball Z, but there's some fights that do drag on quite a bit, but even that feels like faster than this. So yeah. All right. Well, I think I have rambled on long enough. Don't think this is a bad issue. Like on its own. I just think, like I said, the overall storyline has just, even then I feel like we didn't really make much progress. A lot of fighting still happens. We had a lot of fighting in the last issue. I mean, Mr. Freeze and that finally comes in t- to the mix, you know, you know, as it means to stop the asthma. Um, this is mostly an action focused issue. So in terms of major plot progression, not too much is really happening. I mean, the, the stuff at the end with, you know, Joker's daughter, whatever her name is, uh, doing her thing kind of changes things and shifts things around, but we're still just going to lead to the inevitable Batman versus the Orcam confrontation. I hope he kicks the crap out of them, breaks all their bones, puts them in the hospital. Like people always complain Batman likes to do excessively injure people. I'm glad if he just does that to the Orcam family, just give me that, knock them on their asses, throw their asses in jail, and let's get back to some more kind of grounded detective storylines. That's, that's what I want to see next in the, uh, in this book. So yeah, this, it, I was kind of looking forward to this Gothic opera storyline and there's been some good moments for sure. But as I've said numerous times, it's just gone on for way, way, way too long. This particular story, we could have been having numerous cool little arcs in here, but we just had like one never ending thing. So yeah. All right. Well, I've rambled on long enough. Post your comments down below. Be sure to like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to your channel for more content, both for notifications, all that fun stuff. And uh, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.